Hey, I'm Ann Caldwell, not your ordinary agent, and I'm here today with... Matt Wilson with the Wilson Mortgage Team at New American Funding. Hey, one of the big things going on here in the fall of 2022 and possibly into 2023 is people asking about and hearing terms like interest rate buy-downs. Matt, what is that really quickly? So basically, you pay a little bit more up front, so you pay a little bit less over time. Um, the way an interest rate buy-down works in the permanent sense is maybe you pay 1% extra. That's called one discount point. Um, at the end of that, maybe your interest rate itself goes down by a quarter to a half percent, which means that you get to pay a little bit more now, but your payments are lower and therefore over the lifetime of the loan, you pay significantly less. So Matt, what are the different types of interest rate buy-downs? So there are two main types and then there's some subcategories. Uh, the main two types of interest rate buy-downs are the permanent buy-down, and then also, if you've got seller credit, you can do the temporary buy-down. And the permanent buy-down is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you, pay your, you pay your extra point or a couple points on the front end and your interest rate for as long as you have that mortgage is lower. The temporary buy-down, you actually use the seller's money, if they give a seller credit, um, to purchase down the interest rate. There's a couple different ways that can work. Um, you could do a two one, which means like if the today's rate is 6% year one, the interest rate drops to 4%, year two, the interest rates uh, at 5% and year three, you're back up at 6%. Um, there's also the one, 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 which works exactly the same way. If it's at 6% then for the next three years, one, 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 you're at 5%. Um, another type of interest rate buy down is a three, two, one, same concept. If you're at 6%, then now you're at 3% for the first year, 4%, and then 5%. And then on the fourth year, you're back up at your 6% where you started. So one of the questions that people ask quite a bit is when they're interested in an interest rate buy-down, can they refinance if rates go lower? Yes, absolutely. As a matter of fact, I'll call you as soon as they go lower. <laughs> That's one of the great things about Mac is he will call you and tell you. You don't have to guess. You don't have to Google it. You don't have to listen to your next door neighbor who may or may not be right. <laughs> yes, nobody is more wrong about everything real estate and mortgage related than Uncle Bob or your neighbor at the barbecue. That's right.